The first black man trained to be an astronaut never got to go into space. Until now. Ed DeWight, then a 27-year-old Air Force pilot, was tapped by President John F. Kennedy in 1961 to be the first black astronaut candidate in the United States. In 2022, DeWight spoke to CBS News about how he felt at the time. When I got this letter November the 4th, 1961, offering me this opportunity to be the first Negro astronaut, I thought these dudes were crazy. <laughs> Why me? I mean, what in the world is this all about? You know, and I said, no. I mean, my first reaction to it was, that's the nuttiest thing I ever heard. Dwight says his mother had to convince him that this opportunity was bigger than just him. This is definitely a, a sign of progress for the Negro in the country. As a hero in the black American community, he toured the country, getting people excited about the new space program. But he did not get the same reception once he got back to training. And the leadership was just horrified at the idea and the president appointing me to this position. After four years of rigorous training, the man nicknamed Kennedy's Boy was dropped from the space program. Dwight worked for IBM and opened a construction business, teaching himself how to weld with leftover pieces from construction sites. His passion became sculpting. His subjects, both the celebrated and the hidden figures in black American history. It took over 20 years after President Kennedy asked Dwight to be an astronaut for a black person to be catapulted into space, and there have been several since. Now, with Ed Dwight having celebrated his 90th birthday, he's getting the chance to see space for himself. He'll be among the six-person crew on Blue Origin's New Shepard flight. The Air Force veteran who once studied to be among the first in space will get 11 minutes beyond the Earth's atmosphere. The date for the New Shepard's takeoff has not yet been revealed. The legacy I want is that I gave a damn. And that's it. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm TC Newman.